The EPA has completed its analysis of these clouds of smoke that rose above that massive fire in Plainfield in March. As CBS4's Russ McQuaid explains, neighbors at the Walmart distribution center were breathing in dangerous chemicals in the hours that followed this fire. It's been three months since the Walmart distribution center here in Plainfield went up in flames. And it's just now that the neighbors around here are learning what dangerous chemicals were in those billowing clouds of smoke. Smoke towered over the burning warehouse and swept north into Boone, Hendricks, Hamilton, and Marion counties. The neighborhoods next door were ground zero for soot and debris. And you could smell it. You could smell it in the air. Seemed like it was a couple days uh, later when I really noticed it. Gina Thatch didn't walk her dogs much in the days after the fire. I just tried to keep the windows shut up and, you know, tried to limit my time outside. An EPA study lists the dangerous chemicals, benzene, arsenic, and thallium scattered through the smoke and most disappeared quickly. Those came down, the measurements came down fairly quickly within those four days when the fire was still smoldering and all that. So I would say probably in the four or five days, it was probably very well evenly dispersed and kind of diluted out. Though IU assistant professor Sarah Commodore says some residents may feel the impact even to this day. Anyone that's kind of compromised in any way through their airways, whatever it is, they definitely um, can feel the impact even um, weeks after the fire. Especially since the fire wiped out the warehouse and everything inside. Things like that are always a concern. Uh, it's not a surprise to me because I know what things are made out of it. And the EPA says it detected no asbestos in those billowing clouds of smoke. In Plainfield, Russ McQuaid, CBS4 News.